talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! All right, folks, today is Saturday, June the 8th. It is going to be overcast all day. We were supposed to have a lot of rain, but it didn't end up being nothing because it was very scattered and sporadic. It didn't really amount to nothing. The high temperature is only going to be 77. So what perfect opportunity to go to the 11 Point River and do a float for three reasons. Most people probably got scared off and chickened out because of the weather and they didn't know what the river was going to be like and canceled their plans. Number two, no sunburn because there isn't going to be any sun today. It's all cloudy. And three, no heat. So you got all three things in our favor. Cloudy weather, no heat, no humidity, and probably no crowd. I'm going to say at least 50% of the people that would have been floating probably canceled their plans. So we're going to go today. I'm going to try to get the biggest goggle I've ever caught in my life. Which for me, I, my biggest is 10 and a half. Was caught in December in the rain in the Castor River. Wilma's biggest is 11 inches. Last year, about this same time, the same month, in the exact same place we're going. We're going to be fishing root wads with red wigglers. We'll also catch golden eye, moon eye, sunfish, bluegill, bass, smallmouth, drum, rare chance of a pickerel or trout, uh, a, lot of, a lot of panfish, but the target species for the day, at least for the first half of the day, I'm going to strictly be using live bait for goggle eye. Toward the evening when we get down to these two last holes, there's really only three good holes where we're going. I'm going to fish for smallmouth out of those last two holes. I'll switch to lures. I'm going to be using uh, crawdad imitation crankbaits, swim baits, and inline spinners. So come along with us. Let's see if we can get that personal best goggle eye today. Maybe even a state record. You never know. There is that one in a million chance. But I'm hoping to get a 12 inch goggle eye today. Question is, can we do it? Stay tuned to find out. How 
where you want to cast is on the round part right as close as you can get to the round things and let the worm go to the bottom of the round thing see what I'm saying Yeah, his ain't the best. I noticed that earlier. They're not very good. Oh! Wow! Oh, man! Holy moly! That's a big bass! Big old smallmouth on the swim bait, guys. He's 15 inches. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I've worked it right on this pillar right here in front of me. He was on the side of it about seven foot down. It's a big smallie. Oh yeah. This is a new swim bait I've never tried and I can't remember the name of them because I only brought three. But obviously, obviously a real good swim bait. It's chartreuse and white. Oh yeah. <laughs> here. one minute in this spot. He was on this round bridge pillar about seven foot down right on the side of it. Nice swim bait. Obviously works. Nice small mouth. He's, he's about 14 inches. About two pounds. Decent river smallie. You're on the 11 point. Alright. Yep. Nice. Right. Man, he put up a fight. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change the battery. Smalley, we're sitting here purposely fishing for goggle eye, and she pulled a smallmouth out on the first minute, right from the tree. We're what we're doing instead of anchoring, we're tying a rope to root wads and holding us in. And these fish love these big old root wads in these rivers. About 12 inches. Oh, he's got a big sore. Or is that your worm? No. I don't know what's wrong with him. Anyway, when you take him off, hold him up for us. Here, I'll zoom. I'm zoomed in. Need pliers? That's, I've never seen a, one look like that. It looks like a worm is stuck to his face. Holding good for us. Good job, honey. Her first smallmouth of the day. About a pound, 12 inches. All right, now I'm gonna get me a, I'm gonna try me for some shadow bass. Guys, I had to add a split shot. The current so bad behind the root wad that it just sucks it out every time. This will keep it down, should. I just think we're, we'll be better off over at that one. Oh yeah, I think I got one. Nope, the smallmouth. Thought it was a big goggle eye. Hey, it's a nice smallmouth though. Me and her both just caught smallmouth on red wigglers in a hook. Oh, and he's way in there. Oh man, definitely gonna be tough even with pliers. Oh man. Oh, I can get it, but it's not going to be easy. Small mouth on worms. <laughs> That's usually, I mean, they do bite worms, but usually not this good. It's just a good day, obviously, the fish are biting that good. Oh, it came right out, actually, and got my worm back. All right, my second small mouth. This is a little guy. He's only about 10. It looks like smallmouth may be the main species of the day at this rate. Out of six fish we've caught, three of them have been smallies. All right, we're gonna get her back in. Beautiful smallie. He 
went directly under that tree as soon as I let him go. That's where he headed. Whoa, look at that boulder. Holy crap. All right, Wilma's got a small mouth, guys, right on this boulder. It's, you got a smallie. Oh, man, he's a fighter, too. Man, let's see if I can get one at the same time. It's a nice one. I knew as soon as I seen that big rock, I said, look at that boulder. I looked down, and she had a fish on already. There's definitely some goggle eye here, too. Not bad. <clears throat> Hold it up for us. Honey. You didn't hold it up. All right, Wilma caught her second smallmouth. Nice. One ain't. <clears throat> Got one finally, folks. Oh man, he ain't bad at all. It's pretty decent. Smallmouth. On the swim bait again. That chart, that uh, lemon meringue swim bait, unknown brand. And oh man. Look, he ruined it. I think it's ruined. I can try it one more time, but it, he's got it where it's going to slide off every cast. It might stay one more time. This swim bay, I'm liking it. I finally think this one might stay on, guys. Yeah, they're swim bait bass. Not bad. About an 11. All right. All right. Boy, we're hammering the smallmouth in this little. This is a slough off the side of the main river. It's just. Anywhere you cast, let it fall on the bottom and just slowly pull it to you, real slow. I'm doing about half the regular speed I normally retrieve when I fish. All right, get her back in. Dang, I've been filming 55 Got minutes. Off. There we go, folks. All right, pull, set the hook an extra time. Now this one's a little bigger. He's at least 13 or 14, I would think. Oh yeah, mm, yeah, oh yeah, he's a nice one. Look at that drag screen, boys. Yeah, he's a fighter. This is probably the biggest one of the day so far. Or at least tied with my first one under the bridge. My goodness, <laughs> he's not giving up, is he? <laughs> my goodness. Fighting all the way to the end. That's what you gotta love about smallmouth. They are some fighters. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Woo. Unfortunately guys, I only brought two of these swim baits and this thing is done for, I think. It just keeps sliding off every time. Nice smallie. Here. Did you unzoom? There he is. Oh yeah, another nice one. Well folks, our intentions was goggle eye today, but we ended up just kind of switching. We'll eventually get one on accident. 
but uh, the smallmouth ended up being the king for the day, it looks like. This might be the biggest one right here. My God. Wow. That's a hoss. That's a hoss. Well, there was more on fall in it? Yeah, they do that. They're known for that. Oh man, that's a, that might, that's a 15. Oh yeah, 14. Comes a boat. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> the lemon meringue. Our key lime pie, swim bait does it once again. This is the biggest smallmouth of the day and definitely the prettiest. Nice male smallmouth right here. Wow, what a beauty. Yeah. Maybe not, because they like swift water more than, they're kind of like the main river. Oh my God! Huh! A shiner. I caught a, all right folks, I caught a common shiner on this swim bait. He's about four inches long, little common shiner. That makes species number four though. There's a, it's a regular old shiner. Just out of nowhere. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> oh, he ran away right when I zoomed. God, I think it's a goggle eye. Maybe. No, little bitty smallmouth. All right, folks. Smallmouth number five for me and the baby of the day. Definitely not worth writing home about. <laughs> oh, a little eight inch. Well, he sure messed up my lure for a little guy, though. Oh. It's going for the grass. It's going for the grass. We're okay. This ain't nothing. Guaranteed fish on your left side, though. Probably. I would think there's a fish or two sitting right up here. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, I just hooked a smallmouth while moving. It's a nice one. We're at the big, long, half mile long hole. It's and I can't believe he bit as fast as, man, this is the biggest one of the day here. As fast as we were moving, though. That's crazy. Do that way. Oh my gosh. This is a fish. Tell me not well. You need to show me. No, I feel the fish. Oh my. Yeah, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> this is that hole we always do so good at. He's a nice. That's the biggest one of the day for sure. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, he's I'd say he might go 16. That's decent. Don't make a chance to get up. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Three 
pounder easily. That's 18 inches. Put on the floor and then Let's measure the him. I want you to take a good picture of it like this. Are you zoomed? No, I want a good. Folks, this is easily three pounds. I'm gonna say 18 inches. We're about to find out. Seventeen. Seventeen inch smallmouth, guys. Either way, it's still nice. He's three pounds. Fish of the day. Wow. And the pulsar clear and white. Wilma landed a small mouth. Little guy, but hey, hold him up for us here in a second. Good job. When you get it off, hold it up. I'll zoom in. I think we've caught four each now. Yeah, we it out. All right. Good job, man. Awesome. Yeah, it's an eagle. White head. Sure is. I'm watching. Folks, I was just dragging my lure on the bottom and I just snagged a big old red horse. It was, the lure was actually bumping the rocks as we, as the canoe just went naturally down the river. You know, we're just going like two or three mile an hour and I snagged a nice little red horse. That is cool. Got him on the rapala jointed now. That imitates a crawdad. There's a beaver right in front of me too. See it? <laughs> yeah, I hooked him in the nose. All right, folks. I believe this is a golden red horse. I could be wrong. It's some type of red horse. Cool fish to get at the end of the day. Awesome. Something different. We didn't have a bad day. We really just didn't get the fish much. You, you spend most of your time paddling. Our problem was we didn't start till noon. We should have started about seven in the morning, had them extra five hours where you can sit around and anchor. We ended up having to maybe fish two hours and paddle about five, so it kind of sucks when you do that. It's already... That's cool. That was from dragging the crankbait in the rock. <laughs> yeah, make sure you unzoom it. Did you unzoom Well, guys, this ends our trip. We did not get the targeted species, which was the goggle eye shadow bass. We did not get a one of those, but we did have a good day. Uh, we caught probably four or five smallmouth apiece. Uh, I got the one nice 17 incher. I got the surprise sucker fish at the end. We didn't have any incidents. The sun never came out the whole day. We never had any close calls with wrecks or anything. It was a really good day. I'm not sunburned, feel really good. I'm not even wore out. Uh, the, cur the river was just high enough where you didn't even have to really paddle much. You just had to steer. So I'm glad we came when we did. Next time it's cloudy like this all day and mild out, I'm definitely gonna come back. Thanks guys for watching and hit that like button and please subscribe.